find it for the timing on that. So uh, yeah, we, is sun and clouds and showers, and we saw that all with Danica as well. This is the way it looks from Live Copter 3. We're at about 1800 feet over the Wilton area looking off to the east, and yeah, the clouds look dark off there. There are some showers and thunderstorms off toward Valley Springs and other locations like that that I showed you, but uh, it's also many areas that are relatively dry, like in Sacramento. We have clouds. It's 55 degrees with the wind out of the south at 5. You've noticed the cool down, I'll bet. Remember a couple of days ago we were talking about record highs, temperatures up around 70. Well, yeah, 55 now and we'll stay around 50 throughout the night tonight with a fair amount of cloud cover. The showers we have now will be decreasing, but right now and for the next couple of hours, things will be rather active. And yes, we even have a couple of thunderstorms embedded in that, but you give up till about 630, maybe 7 o'clock and these will be decreasing. But there is another weather system developing. Here we are, and there's the weather system that went through last night. For Sacramento, dropped about an inch of rain. Other areas saw a little more, some areas a little bit less, but that's on the way out. Behind it, we just have this flow that will keep us in occasional showers during the day tomorrow. And then you have this system. That's going to be the next one. And we talk about atmospheric rivers. We talk about precipitable water. Let me show you how this is going to develop and why it's so important this time. So this is the atmospheric river that we had last night. It's now shifted into Southern California. As we go through the next couple of days, this next area of moisture begins to take shape. Atmospheric river, relatively concentrated area of high amounts of moisture. This is getting into the day on as we get into Sunday, that takes aim at California. Some of it comes to Northern California, which is why Sunday we could have some pretty good rain, especially Sunday night. But then as we get into the day Monday, our rain decreases. But look at how long that stays into Southern California. The models can still change over the next couple of days, but Sunday and Monday they could see excessive rain in the LA basin and towards San Diego. Let me show you how this all plays out. So tomorrow we still have a shower or two as well as a couple of inches of snow in the Sierra. We might have chain controls from time to time. Then Saturday is going to be our dry day. We'll call it mostly dry. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a brief shower, but generally Saturday is the better day to be outside because here comes that first area of rain that gets our area Sunday during the day, lasting into Sunday night and into Monday. And then the fire hose just gets pointed right at Southern California on Monday while we have lingering rain as well as a good amount of snow in the Sierra. Travel in the Sierra on both Sunday and Monday, probably not a good idea. For the valley, a couple of showers tomorrow. Like I said, Saturday is our mostly dry day. And then Sunday, Monday, the possibility of being both windy and wet and maybe even more rain than what we saw last night. Tuesday, all of that tapers off and then maybe a chance of a little bit of rain on uh, next Wednesday. Hmm. So yeah, Sunday, Sunday night and Monday could be pretty stormy again. Okay. It's still a ways away. Yeah. In the next 24 hours, we'll get more details, but that's just kind of the time to keep on your radar. Okay. And especially if you plan on traveling through the mountains. We get a little break in between, which is nice. Yep. All right, thanks, Mark. New library opening its doors in Nevada County.